Guatemala City, everything's, you know, is, is very, very close quarter. You know, you're living on top of, of other people. Um, so as far as like, I was, I was in Guatemala City and I was, uh, for, for the most part of my mission, actually, I would say, eight, I think it was like 18 or 20 of the total months that I was in Guatemala, I was, I was in the city. So that's where I have the most experience. Um, so, um, yeah, so you know, I was, I was mostly in, in poorer areas. Um, so there's a lot of housing, um, there, you know, they, there's two types of housing. There's, you know, the brick, like concrete brick that people make their houses out of, or, or there's just, there's just tin housing. And, um, so, you know, going into a lot of houses, you know, especially going from your apartment, which is, you know, it's never going to be a tin, a tin, tin house. Um, you know, you, we always lived in pretty good brick housing that, um, you know, was, was, was fairly nice and in, in the best part of the area, the safest part of the area that we could find. Um, so, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of hard going into some of those houses, you know, cause a lot of the houses are, you know, they're dirt floors, tin roofs, and they have holes in the ceiling. You know, when it rains, it, there's water leaking in their houses and, um, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to see that, um, happening especially from you know being an being an american and i guess you know seeing you know the way we live and going down there it's it's really hard to to um to see that you know a lot of people only have like a one one room um apartment where you know their kitchen their bed their bathroom are all in the same room and um yeah it's 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 very difficult to to see sometimes um so you know as missionaries we we would mostly, sh they actually do have like, you know, markets, you can, you can actually shop on the markets. You have to be kind of careful as to what's clean and what's not as far as, you know, meat and different things like that. But, um, you know, most of the things from the market you could, you can buy as long as it's, you know, like fruits and different things that like you can, that are peelable. I mean, those are always fine. Um, other, other than that, you know, there's, there's usually a supermarket relatively close so on p-day you can just kind of go and stock up and and you know through the week if you need something um they have like little shops like corner stores and they're actually out of most people's houses they just kind of open up their window and have like a, a like a mini grocery store in their in their house and that's how they actually make their money and um you can just go by and and buy you know you know like a i don't know like rice or beans or um you can um, just kind of get uh, even water and uh, purified water and, and things like that that you need through, through, throughout the week. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a, a fast fast paced environment. There's especially the places that I I was in. I remember my um, my area called Via Lobos. This area was was so on top of each other, and it, you could walk from one end of the area to the other in in probably 15 minutes. And it was a very long area, very narrow and long. You could walk the long, long stretch in 15 minutes and we never ran out. I was there for six months. We never ran out of people to teach because there was just like, there was just so many people. Um, um, so as far as, um, yeah, just li like living, it's, you know, for the, for the missionaries, you know, you live, you live pretty well. I mean, the apartments aren't like super nice. I, I mean, you're not going to be living like, um, like super nice, but, um, you know, it's, um, it definitely gets you by, you have a bed at night. I mean, you're only spending three to four hours there a day plus, you know, what you sleep. So, I mean, you don't really worry about it. So, um, as far as Guatemala city, usually we have, um, we had, um, um, a, a cook lady that would, and usually like the Relief Society president or, you know, somebody that would be, um, assigned to, and they would actually cook us, um, lunches. And, um, those were so good. I have had some of the best food in my life, um, at those lunches. They, um, they really take good care of you. Um, so yeah, you usually eat breakfast in the morning. You, you know, you do your study, your workouts. Me and my companions would always, um, make like weights out of like concrete and like, um, those like five gallon containers. And so every companion I was with, we always would do that like our first P day to make sure that we had like a good set of weights. So, um, so we, I was really adamant about working out on the mission, um, and like running, it's kind of hard to run just cause it's so crowded and like, there's so much like 
and so many like buses and stuff that are just like dumping like you know really bad pollution <laughs> or like you know just like fumes at you so it's like really hard to run on the streets but um yeah like I, you know i had like a little jump rope i would do like jump rope and then uh you know do weights and stuff and i i, I loved it so um, yeah we usually eat breakfast do that in the morning study and then we leave and um you know about one o'clock we'd eat with our with our cook lady and it was great and then the rest of the day would essentially be dedicated to teaching appointments and um, finding new new investigators. Um, and honestly, we we were always busy from that one o'clock period on. And um, and you, we I could probably count on one one or two hands of time times I eat dinner on the mission. But that's like that's not to scare you, but. Honestly, you, you get enough food at one o'clock and you, you eat when you get home or whatever, or like have a little snack before bed and like you're fine. Like honestly, you're gonna be so busy you don't wanna eat. So, um, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Um, as far as like transportation and like getting around um, buses, you will never have a car. Um, I, w I was in the office for, for six months, so we did have a van, but we never used it for tracting or going to appointments. It was simply to take us to the the capital and the mission, and and uh, go to the office and back, um, and running you know different errands and stuff for uh, for president. Um, but yeah, you're walking a lot, and uh, so find a good pair of shoes if you can, because uh, you'll definitely run through them. I think I ran through about eight pairs of shoes on my mission in total. So yeah, <laughs> I did a lot of, a lot of walking. So, um, but yeah, you get in pretty good shape doing it. So it's fun. You'll, you'll, you'll learn to enjoy it. <laughs>